Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video we're going to go over remote procedure calls, often known as RPCs. So what a remote procedure call is, is basically when you call a function across a network. So I say jump, and then the client jumps, and you can think of it that way. So what we want to do here is we want to load up the player setting or the build settings, go to the player settings, check on to run in background because uh, that's the first thing we should always do. I am inside of a brand new Unity project with Forge uh, imported into it. Then I'm going to look for the multiplayer menu and make that the first scene. Now that I have all this setup stuff done, I'm going to create a new scene and we're going to create a cube. So I'm going to create, let's create a sphere actually. I want a sphere this time. So we're going to create a sphere and we're going to save this scene as sphere. So now that we have our sphere and we have our scene, we want to create our network object. So we're going to open up the Forge uh, Network Contract Wizard. You can go to Window, Forge Networking, Network Contract Wizard. We're going to create a new thing and we're going to call it uh, we're going to call it guy so just g u y guy we're going to ignore fields we have another video on that if you care to watch that and we're going to go straight over here to the remote procedure calls and we're going to add an rpc we're going to give it a friendly name we're going to say move up is going to be our friendly name and it's not going to have any arguments we're going to make this as simple as possible so this arguments drop down nothing not a just by itself. So we have our guy and our move up as a remove procedure call. I'm going to hit save and compile and that's going to generate our code. Uh, go ahead and jump over to the other tutorial to see where that generated code is. But right now we're going to create a new C sharp script called guy. Same name that we put into the, the uh, network contract wizard to keep it simple. I'm going to put guy onto the sphere and then open up that code. So here instead of the code, we're gonna call it we're gonna derive from guy behavior. And that is inside of the generated namespace. So we're gonna add that. And just do a little cleanup here that I like to do. Okay. Notice right off the bat we have a red squiggly under guy. And that says uh, guy does not implement the in, or it does not implement inherited abstract member uh, guy behavior move update uh, move up, which is the RPC we created. If you remember, what we want to do is right click on this and actually I don't know the right click thing. We're just going to hit Control Period. I'm going to say implement abstract method. If you don't have that fancy hotkey, if you're using a regular old text editor, all you have to do is write this code in here and make sure that you're using all these using statements up here. I'm gonna get rid of that not implemented exception and what we're gonna do is just move the cube up. So transform.position plus equals vector3.up. That's it, we're just gonna move it up when it gets this RPC. So uh, now that we have that, we're gonna jump back to Unity. Oh, before we do that, we have to actually make, call this RPC. That would be a great idea, huh? So we're going to do uh, private, private void update. And inside of here, we're going to say if input uh, get key down. We're going to be very simple. Input uh, or key code dot space. So if we press the space bar, we want to move up. So in order to do that, we access our network object which is a member of the guy behavior. So network object. And we're going to do send RPC. Inside of the send RPC, we need to call the move up. And in the generated code, it actually creates a constant variable we can use. So put your caps lock on and type in RPC underscore, and you'll see move up as an option. And that's the one we're going to select. And then we're going to say receivers dot all. We're going to just send it to everybody. And there are no arguments. We're not passing anything to it. That's it. We're done. Now we can head back to Unity and test out our stuff. So first, I'm going to open up the build settings, add in our open scene, which is the sphere, go back to the multiplayer menu to start our server, and then build our game. 
Now that we have it built, I'm going to play here as the server, play over here as the client. So let's jump back to our instance. No, don't minimize. And we're going to hit host. Now we're hosting with the sphere and we're going to come over to the editor, hit connect. We're connected and there's the sphere. I'm going to press spacebar. And there we go. It's moving up. And now it's off the screen. So one thing I do want to point out from this is that the RPC is all as the receivers. And we're going to see where this can be a problem. I'm going to just reopen that build. All right, I have the build back up. I'm going to host. And I'm going to hit play over here, but I'm not going to connect. I'm going to press space bar three times here. Come over here and connect. Notice the sphere is not in the same location. This is because we're not replicating the position. If you'd like to know how to do that, check out the other tutorial. But what all we're doing is whenever we press spacebar, it sends an RPC saying, move up. If a client is not connected when that RPC is sent, it does not execute that behavior when it connects because it was sent when it wasn't connected. However, now that it is connected, I can hit spacebar and it will move up on each RPC call. So if you want to combine the position and the RPC call, you could do that. Of course, you, you don't really need to do that uh, as a practical uh, thing because the position should be updated with the network object. However, there is another way called a buffered RPC, which we're going to talk about in the next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, send them down in the comments. We'll check them out. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.